Okay guys, I've, I've seen something and it compelled me to make a video. I've seen this before, but since knowing a lot more about cows and how intelligent they are and how smart they are as a herd and as a species, this has really moved me once again. And I'll play it for you now. <laughs> So here you see this cow has recognized either a member of the herd or a family member and can smell the smells of the cows. Uh, the skin is there, so the cow recognizes the skin and is distressed and is crying and is yelling out. And you can hear in the voice, you know, the pure horror and the agony. Anyone who tries to claim that cows aren't sentient, that animals aren't sentient, that animals don't feel emotions or they don't feel pain and suffering or they, they don't experience these, these, this bond with their herd and their families and their children. Is that enough evidence for you? There's this cow here just crying out, crying in agony for their lost sibling or friend. And you've still got the audacity to say that cows don't feel anything. They're just mindless grass chewing drones which is, couldn't be further from the truth. If you think cows are mindless and that, that when they cry, they're not experiencing emotions like humans do. I've seen cows crying on the way to a slaughterhouse, okay? I've, I've had farmers, particular farmers say that, you know, it's just leaking out their eyes. They're not feeling, experiencing emotions. Why do we have the audacity to think that we are the most superior mammal, the most superior species, that we are the only ones who express emotion like that? A cow in a herd, even at the most happy, humane, highest welfare standard farm you can think of, when you think about it, they would notice some cows going missing. Two cows go on the trailer to the slaughterhouse and they don't come back. Now the herd knows that. When I seen these cows on the trailer going to the slaughterhouse, they knew that they weren't coming back. Okay, that's why they were distressed. That's why they were crying. They might not know, have known exactly what was behind those walls. They knew they weren't coming back and they were scared. Okay, and that's why they were crying. And that cow there knows what's going on, knows that one of their family members has been chopped up into pieces and is obviously distressed and crying. Okay, these animals are crying for their children. They're moaning out for days for their babies. The babies are crying back. They're distressed. They look emaciated. They can't even eat because they're riddled with anxiety. These are the victims here. I mean, I know it's easy as a non-vegan to just think, hey, they're mindless drones. They, they, they don't experience the same level of suffering that we do. That makes it easier for you to consume and to pay for their death and their suffering. But it's not true. We need to wake up to ourselves and be honest with it here. These animals are intelligent. Pigs learning faster than dogs. Cows and chickens and lambs, sheep, displaying amazing traits of intelligence. That just can't be denied. The studies are out there, but we still wanna deny them the right to even sentience. In the UK, politicians have voted against animals being sentient when it's scientific consensus that they are. It's scientific consensus that fish are sentient and feel pain. And a bunch of politicians can go against consensus, against science, because they say so because it's obviously good for industry, isn't it? Animals being sentient, feeling pain and suffering and displaying grievance like that, it's not good for business, is it? You know, for people to see that and to understand that and to know that. Once you start to understand another being, that cows and chickens and fishes and lambs, they are different to us. But once you start understanding the fundamental things we have in common, the things that really matter, and once you start to understand how their intelligence is different to ours, but just as valuable, how their lives are just as valuable, the deeper the, the level of understanding, the more you start to appreciate their struggle. The longer I've been an activist and, and, and the longer I've connected with animals and started to understand them, it's starting to weigh on me a lot more. It's starting to become really heavy. There's only ignorance of these animals and ignorance is evil. If we believe absurdities, we can commit atrocities and that's what's happening. We believe these animals are not intelligent, are not sentient, and don't feel pain and suffer. That is meat machines, meat and milk machines, put here for us to, to use and exploit and eat. It couldn't be further from the truth. So for anyone watching who you might have been taught that cows are just mindless drones and they don't feel any pain and suffering, watch that again and listen to your heart. Don't listen to the compounded levels of indoctrination that you've been taught since you were a child and what industry have perpetuated. Listen to your heart and you tell me, is that justified? Is that violence? Is that suffering? Is that pain? Is that sadness justified so you can have a momentary fleeting taste pleasure? A sandwich? A bite to eat? It's what you gotta ask yourself. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Bobby.